Hello everyone, this is Aqua here, and today we're going to be looking at submechanophobia and its influence in video games. Oh god, plus submechanophobia. Um, submechanophobia, please be warned, there's some disturbing images coming up soon, um, pretty much through the video. I still want you to rise to watch it, be and just close your eyes. The images are starting now. So, uh, if you looked away, or if you haven't looked away, all the same, you are hearing my voice. And this is a voice of someone who has submechanophobia. And submechanophobia is an underrated phobia. Um, a, in quotations, irrational phobia. It is the fear of underwater, or submerged, hence the name, man-made objects. The most common man-made object that's submerged being a shipwreck. The most common part of the fear is a shipwreck. Although this to people as well as me can vary to every single thing under the water. Apart from like for me it's I don't mind the reef. I mean, like looking not 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 man-made reefs. I mean, you know them them flowers, you know them Nemo, them Nemo. You gotta love them Nemo. <laughs> um, and submechanophobia is something that I've had for quite a long time. At first, there was just signs of it such as the bath. I could I haven't had a bath since I was eight years old because I've always had the fear of being surrounded by ships, being crashed into by ships and drowning because of ships. Um I'm just you don't know if you heard that but my mum would just scream. Shut the fuck up mum, please. Please mother. Shut the fuck up. Please. Please mum shut the fuck up. Anyway, um, submechanophobia is something I've had since I was young, but it hasn't grown, like we just said, about bass. Also, there's a swimming pool near me um, in Tavistock, in Devon, and uh, there's some little black pools, little black patches underwater. And I've always thought that they were shipwrecks. Like, my mind, I know that they're, they're obviously not shipwrecks, it's just the floor is painted black, that's, that's it. But it's just the part of me, the, little, the part of you that, that thinks there's a monster under your bed, that that part of your brain, there's a shipwreck under there, you're going to get fucked. That's what it's telling me. That's what it's telling me. It shouldn't be telling me that, but it is telling me. Yeah. It grew a few years ago. Now in English. English not being the language, it's the uh, the lesson in school. And in English, the thing we're studying for the term, there's three terms in a year, just saying, you know, they're, they, they're usually about 12 weeks long. Um, and this term, the second term, we had to study the movie Jaws. And motherfucker, you guessed it. Jaws is terrifying. Why did you just not look away? Well, if I did look away, if I did look away, then I'd fail. And at that time, like I've said, before that, my it wasn't wasn't too bad. I originally thought it was a horror movie, like Insidious or something, some shit like that. And in a way, it was to me. And the shark got to me. There's only there's only one part in that movie where there is a shipwreck. Um, it, it to, I believe, our oh, memory, and that is the part I didn't see. The only part I was not in school for was the shipwreck part. But they show me pictures. I've seen them pictures. We had to study them motherfucking pictures. Motherfucking English education boys. And fuck me. After that, 
After that, I could not even take a shower by myself. The shower was too strong. The strongness of the shower was stronger than the strongest man in this drunk. That is how strong the fear was. And uh, now, instead of talking about me, um, we're going to talk more about me. Pretty much, this is some mechanophobia in video games. Um, in my two favorite video games. And how it affects me. The video games we'll be covering today is mainly Grand Theft Auto 5 and Battlefield 4. The two main games on my channel. And the two main games I play. Although, there will be other games mentioned. Such as... Such as Call of Duty. And, um... Um... Stranded Deep. That's it. The one with shipwrecks. Motherfucker. I don't even. First game we'll be covering, which is the uh, the background for the video currently, although it'll be changing extremely soon, is GTA 5. Now, GTA 5 has multiple cases of shipwrecks. Um, the main one in the campaign being the one in the heist. Set up two months. About two, about two months to complete. Because I kept pussying out. The uh, actual mission itself, I had to cradle my kitten, my new kitten, which is a few weeks old, go one foot, pause, and keep on going. That motherfucking cargo ship. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. No. No. And no. That was the scariest thing for me. It's like watching... It's like watching a horror movie. It's it's like watching a horror movie. It's terrible. Then 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 there's more shit. In the side mission, as Trevor, you have to delve into the depths of the lake in Sandy Shores into a plane to get a gun. I've never ever ever completed that mission. I have never attempted to complete that mission because I can't. I cannot. It's. I just can't. And then, and then there's other stuff like the hidden things. I can't do the side missions, like the things you get like cool shit for. I can't do them. I I can't do them. I I can't do them. Um, there's a plane in Poyo Bay under the water and Joe Pika Dogs loves that shit I am the complete opposite the complete opposite complete opposite I hate it I hate it I delve I, I, I dive into the I like I'm on the water and I look down crystal clear Delve down a little bit deeper, right below my feet, a, sh a giant plane. It, the shiver down my spine. It's too much. Now, in this game is my pirate boat. The, uh, the Battlefield 4. This, there's a giant shipwreck in the map, and it's really fun to go on. When there's people on it. And you're not staring at the actual ship. The ship is scary. Um, it's it's horrible to swim to. I cannot. I cannot even swim to it. It's, it scares the crap out of me. And the boat, the big boat near the uh, the windmill, which is actually smaller than the, than the actual aircraft carrier, but shut the fuck up. Um, by the windmill, wind turbine, whatever you want to call it, um, is terrifying and Pika Dogs is an asshole because he kept flying next to it making me look at it driving next to it he is and I told him multiple times to stop I told him multiple times it's not funny and he said himself that he's an asshole but he thinks it's funny you are an asshole and, uh, and then also in the campaign 
there is a mission, a cutscene in which a giant cargo ship drives into you. Just close your eyes, please. Just close your eyes. And then a multiplier map, there's another cargo ship. Perhaps the same cargo ship. I was thinking maybe it's the same one that actually drove into him. The one that's split in half. By the Megalodon. And that is also terrifying to look at. It is called for sniping, but but terrifying for sniping. Because because it's a shipwreck. It's huge size is horrible. Playing obliteration is, is really fun on that. Because of all the hiding spots. But no. But no. And Bad Company 2 as well, if we're, whilst we're on Battlefield. There's a part where we have to go into a shipwreck. It's not underwater, but it's a shipwreck. And it's still terrifying. It still sends shivers down my spine. Um, <laughs> then that's pretty much Battlefield. It's fucking horrible. It is nasty as shit. Looking at these things. Now into different games. There is Stranded Deep. This game is Shipwreck City. If you have some mechnophobia, you go on this game and it will bore you after 10 minutes because you can't do anything. And I'm not I'm not criticizing the game. I love watching this shit on Robaz um, and other people. Definitely Robaz. King of Sweden. Everyone loves Robaz. King of Sweden. It's so fun watching him, but when he goes into the shipwrecks, I gotta cover my eyes. It it's when they're when when they some of the some of it is underwater and some of it's sticking out and you can all you can see in the distance is this is this top bit of the No! The cringe! The cringe! Oh! 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 No! Oh the the cringe! It's too much thinking about it. The cringe! It's horrible. And then it's called you ghost. And then it just don't want to be started on the shipwreck and there. Full of sharks. Those sharks will fuck you up. Leading on to the sharks. Leading on to the sharks. Um, the sharks are very common calls slash have quite a lot to do with some echinophobia. Like I said about jaws. The sharks are like shipwrecks are a home to them. They're a goddamn mansion. They love those things. And when the sharks attack you, you know you know you're fucked. Call of Duty, you you do it right, the sharks still attack you and it's horrible. It's it's it makes you scream. The GTA shark, when you can ask Pika Wolf, my other friend, who's got over 100 subscribers, whoa, big boy. Um, my action was like a screaming girl when that thing attacked me. I think, I, I hate sharks, but, but, leave in the comments section. Who do you think would win in a fight? Bear or shark? If you don't say bear, I will flag your channel for nudity. Nudity. That's like porn. I won't really. Don't report me for blackmailing you. That was a bad decision. I can delete that. Meh, who cares. Um, anyway. Um, and the sharks, their, their jaws are too powerful. Um, and pretty much that's that's some mechanophobia. That's it's not what I wanted it to be, but it's something. It's pretty much like cases of mechanophobia, like in games, like no, not some ship shipwrecks. Pretty much marriage objects. Obviously, there's many more than this. This is just a few I I think of on top of my head. Obviously, I planned this, but you know, that is all we have time for. This is just some mechanophobia and me. Just thank you guys for watching. See you on the next one. Blah blah blah.